you are on Google Search Console and see the average position metric and start wondering what this means. That's what I am about to explain, how it's calculated and if you can rely on this metric. The average position value in Google Search Console represents the average rank on the search engine results page for the selected period. Google Search Console can show you the average position for the site as a whole by page, query and queries on a specific page. For example, in the last three months, our site ranked quite well for the query blocked due to other Forex X issue with an average position of 1.9. Google Search Console calculates the average position automatically and the process is something like this. A user enters a query into Google and then a page or even multiple pages from your site can appear for that search. Google then takes the highest position your site appears on the SERP and average this out across all searches for the query over the selected period of time. For example, if a user types SEO testing and our site ranks on position 1, then another person does the same search and we appear on position 2, our average position would be 1.5. It's worth remembering that localization and personalization affect the SERPs and different people will see the search results in a different order which is taken into account for your average position. On Google Search Console, you can also use filters to go from the site average position to finding a page or query average position. The Queries tab below the graph will also show you the average position for individual queries the page is ranking for. This is incredibly useful as it means you will be able to see how your site is doing as a whole, but also how individual pages and queries are performing. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Our goal at SEO testing is to save you time so you spend less time pulling data into Excel and more time thinking about how to get more traffic from Google. Now, back to the video. Now let's look at all the ways you can use the average position metric on Google Search Console. The average position is a useful metric when viewing an individual query or the list of queries a page is ranking for. This is because you are looking at this value at its most granular level. The only caveat to this is for a query that gets only a few impressions in the SERP for whatever date range you are looking at. Because it's an average and due to localization and personalization, the average position reported for very low impression queries can fluctuate a lot and be very different from what you see in Google yourself. With that being said, for queries that are getting a decent number of impressions, if these values go up or down, you can be confident this is a positional change that has occurred in the SERPs. The average position for a page can be a misleading value and we recommend you do not pay too much attention to it. The number one reason is that it's an average for the page across all the queries it ranks for. Your page could rank in position 1 for the target keyword but its average will be much lower because of all the other keywords it ranks for that you didn't target. The second reason, if you are looking to refresh and improve the page, is if you do a good job, the page will start to rank for a larger set of queries. It's likely that after the update, the page will see an average position drop. Similar to the page average position, the site average position is an average of all the queries across the entire site. Whether it goes up and down, it doesn't necessarily mean good or bad news. Let's look at some examples. If the site's average position were to improve, it could mean all your rankings have improved. It could also mean your site has dropped out of the serves for many queries and you don't rank for them anymore at all. If the site's average position were to get worse, it could mean that your site has dropped positions for all the queries it ranks for, or it could mean your site has started to rank for a much larger set of queries which has affected the overall average. Ultimately, you need to consider the page and site average position in conjunction with other metrics in Google Search Console, such as clicks, impressions and click-through rates. Then drill down into a specific page and queries to determine whether the news are good or bad. Overall, the Google Search Console average position is a useful metric that should be used and tracked, especially when filtering the queries by page or specific query. For example, on SEO testing and on our free rank tracker tool, you can track your query's average position over different periods. This will be helpful to know how your target query has been performing recently by looking at the latest position, 
7-day and 30-day averages versus the longer-term rankings like 90-day and 1-year average. Now, if you want to make the most out of your Google Search Console data, use SEO testing to set up SEO tests and know what changes to your site increase traffic. We have a 14-day free trial for you to test it. Sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.